Welcome to our prayer walk. This walk is specifically designed to help us pray for the community which is physically close to this place, the place where we gather to worship. Um, we're going to be going down to the bottom of the Mavilla Road and back up and we'll be making stops along the way using different features as prompts for prayer and then as you walk we'll be praying into what God is doing and we also believe that God speaks so if you feel that God has inspired you with a word or picture or scripture or anything make a note of it uh, that might just be something uh, for you but if you think it might be for more than just you then please share it with us we're going to start with our buildings here uh, the place where we meet to worship uh, one part over here was opened in 1980 as people from St Mark's Church of Ireland and Regent Street Methodist obeyed God's call to be the presence of Jesus in this community. As the worshipping community expanded, uh, this new part of the building was developed to accommodate and opened in 2001. And then since 2020, our online presence means that our worshipping community are gathering from miles away. So, as we walk, pray. Pray for the community that gathers to worship here and online. Pray that our focus would be on worshipping and serving Jesus. Thank God for leading us in the past and ask that we would hear God clearly about our future. The history of the church at Mo Villa goes back further than 1980. Um, the first Christian community was founded here in 540. That's the sixth century. Uh, this ruin dates from the second community in the 15th century. And we are the third community. That means that this ancient ruin is much closer to our time than it is to the founding of the first Movilla Abbey. For generations, people have prayed here. For generations, people have prayed for the church that would come after them. And for generations, people have come here 
to serve the people of this place in the name of Jesus. As we walk, thank God for the heritage of this place. Thank God for generations of Jesus followers who have gone before us. And ask God that we would serve Jesus faithfully for the generations that come after us. And most of all, pray that God's Spirit would reawaken the ancient passion and commitment to prayer. This is Movilla House residential home, uh, along with residential homes all around the country. During the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and lockdown, residents here were unable to see friends and family. It's hard to imagine how difficult uh, that must have been to adjust to, particularly if people were already struggling with um, changes in their minds. So we wanna pray as we walk for the residents here we want to pray for the staff uh, who make this house in the home and who care for the residents.
This is Movilla High School. It's been educating young people on this site for 80 years. Uh, and at the moment, it's got about 350 pupils and 50 staff. So as we walk, pray for this school. Pray for its pupils and staff and governors, especially with the challenges of the past year. Pray that God would bless them as they shape young lives and equip them for the future. And pray for all the young people of this neighbourhood, that they would have the support they need to negotiate the challenges that we're all facing. We're pausing outside Ray Graham's because God wants to bless businesses. God wants to bless people's livelihoods. God made us creative. God made us productive. And people spend a huge chunk of their week in work. And God cares. God cares about our workplaces. Um, God cares about our working relationships. Um, now, Ray Grahams has been part of this community for about 50 years, uh, employing lots of locals over that time. Uh, Ray Grahams is still a family-run business, uh, which makes it one of the largest in UK and Ireland. So as we walk, pray for businesses in our neighbourhood to thrive and prosper. Pray for Ray Grahams. Pray for those businesses that have struggled through the pandemic and pray especially for those who find themselves jobless, that they might find new opportunities.
These are the newest houses in our area. And we've also seen uh, many more people move into Rivenwood development at the top of the road and Lilywood Lane, uh, not far from the bottom of the road. Um, the neighborhood is growing. So whenever we walk past a house, we just see the front of a house. But God sees everything that is going on inside these homes. Uh, God knows every story that is being played out in kitchens and bedrooms and on long late night phone calls. God knows the joys and the tears. So as we walk, pray for the homes in our neighborhood. All the homes in the streets off the Movilla Road. Pray God's peace on each home as you pass and pray anything specific you want to for the people who live there. This is the entrance to Abbey Primary School. But if you stop to look just down there, you can just about still see the stream that runs under the road and the houses. The stream would have been of major significance to the communities that lived here before us. If you just can't turn on a tap, uh, a stream becomes very important. The water of this stream would have been used to drink, uh, to cook, to water crops, it was a source of life. But for us, it's almost forgotten. It's buried here. So for Mavilla Abbey Church, what are the ancient sources of life that we've forgotten that God might want to uncover? For many of our neighbours here, is God a bit like this river? Something that was important to our ancestors, maybe even our grannies, but seems less important to us. We all need water to live and eat, even if, even if we can't see where it's coming from. So as we walk, pray for us as a church and pray for our neighbors that we would uncover the old, forgotten sources of life.
This place doesn't just host our worship gatherings, it's also home to different organisations and groups that are all blessed by this place. It's been a tough time for all of those groups through this pandemic. So as we walk, pray for refreshing for leaders of those organisations. Pray that God would use this time to clarify and to redefine the purpose of each one of those groups. And pray for fellowship and fun and laughter to return to this place. So if you have anything you want to share from your time praying for the neighborhood, please get in touch with us via movillaabbeychurch.com or through our Facebook page. We're standing by this gate, ready to leave and go home. Because not all of you live here off the Movilla Road. Not many of you work here. So the question is, what things might God want to bring your attention to near where you live? What things might God want to speak to you through on your way to work? What is God prompting you to pray into in the places where God has called you every day? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for praying. Keep praying. Keep listening.